So what I want to do now is um, just give you guys a, a, what I was talking about before, like a history of, uh, of where I started with Boogie and how that kind of influenced the different albums that Dream Theater did and I did on, in my solo stuff leading up to the, the JP2C, which I still can't believe I'm saying it. It's, you know, to me in my world having, it, I don't know, what's, it, I can't name something that is yeah. <laughs> crazier than having my name on a boogie. It's and weird. that's why we did it, because as you probably <laughs> noticed, we don't do signature stuff. And when John yeah. asked, you know, it was just like, of course. You know, how could we not, right? Remember it was we a said challenge. It, it's yeah. like, we got to exactly. recreate the beast. Yeah, you know? exactly. That was how, you know, and we were referring to the Mark II C, of yeah. course, C plus. There, course. There's a couple of parts to the story that lead up to this amp. The, one of the parts is that it is a signature amp based on my desires as a player and my, and my requests, you know, from all that history, like, I love this amp, but if only it did this, you know, and then I love this one, but if only it had that, um, that's one part of it. The other part is that one of my favorite boogies of all time has always been the 2C Plus. Mine too. And, and uh, you know, a lot of people love that amp. Uh, it was made throughout the 80s, all different kind of incarnations. I have a, a bunch of them. You know, Bo Boogie had never really done a reissue and that's to a lot of boogie collectors, it's like a holy grail. And so this is a, a bona fide reissue. It's modernized, it does more than the original, but the same um, circuit and the same kind of big transformer and all that magic that went into the original one is in there. And I think that's a big part of the story. Um, and so the, the amp he's talking about was one of my favorite ones that I've recorded with and Randall had that in the shop and they were going side by side comparing it. Yeah. Making sure that at least yeah it no, did we, what that we had did. no we had John's yeah, main yeah, yeah. number one head that was on all the records right. and and uh, you yeah know, it's yeah let me let me grab a guitar I'm gonna play through my um, my amp to to show you guys examples but um, I'll talk about the different albums and what I use so you, so you can kind of get an idea of the history Thank you. Yeah. yeah yeah um. So I was talking about the, the uh, Images and Words album and you know, some of the, some of the uh, sounds and the tests that I do today when I'm thinking about my sound is I kind of play those riffs and see if they hold up. You know, it's like... You know, if the amp does that, I'm, I'm good. Or I'll play, yeah. Like called up here. John, that sounded so thin. Uh, sorry, what'd you say? Sounded so thin. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. I was gonna say it sounded so thin. It was though. so thin. It was so thin yeah. and grating. Yeah, that sounded thin. You need to go back to the gym. Yeah, it's just, it's just like, <laughs> huge, man. I don't know how you guys heard that, but it's huge up but here. You, but you can hear like in this, and I'm just gonna jump around the tune. Don't mind me as I go through iTunes here. But. So that's what I was talking about with that, and yeah. then, like... Yeah, so, that, so that's like the beginning with the, with the, yep. uh, the what's it called? Quad, quad and all that. Yep. Moving on uh, to, to Awake, which Awake was like, and I won't go through every album, I won't bore you, but that was like 94, and that's when I discovered the C+. Yep. The way I usually record is, if I'm doing a rhythm track, I'll do one pass, um, and then uh, that'll be my main track. I'll pan that to the left and then double the same part and pan that hard to the right. 
and I don't put any reverb, any compression, just the pure sound of what I said before. Guitar, cable, yeah. amp, and just good left. microphones, good pre's. Yeah. And that's the guitar sound. Oh. So on that album, what I did was I recorded two tracks, a left and right of C+, plus, <laughs> and then a left and right of Rectifier. Um, and then that's why you can hear it like on some of the riffs. Uh, uh, Erotomania. Like that. <laughs> played that in a while. <laughs> so like when you listen to that album you can kind of hear the recto creeping in because the uh, the C plus has that real solid sound. The yeah. recto has more of like a creamy yeah top like, end top scooped kinda, mids a lot of top easy yeah. thing so you can hear that Hazy, a little exactly. bit. the difference on that the one top end is yeah like definitely and that was also uh, the first time I, I picked up a seven string guitar and it's actually really funny I got I got my first seven string in the New York studio that we were recording and writing I, I'm sorry writing in and I opened the case I was like this is cool at the time it was a Steve Vai seven string with green pickups almost the only ones there it was, was like the only one <laughs> yeah I played it in on the in the uh, live video where I'm sitting on top of the car Driving through Brooklyn. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, I picked it up and we started writing, and it was like, oh, this this sounds cool. I'm like, and, you know, we wrote that song, so that was some of the first seven-string yeah. playing and writing that I did. And again, to get that kind of that tight, heavy sound, that's like the C plus magic we're talking about. And again, with the kind of more creamy. High top, end. top of blended the, in, uh, yeah. blended with the recto, even uh, caught in a whip. You guys hear that sound, right? Yeah, that's pure boogie. So <laughs> you can hear the difference on that type of stuff, like. Almost has a more scoopy kind of sound. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the mix. If I play just with the C plus with my amp, it almost more, has a more solid more sound. More mid-range, more percussive. Yeah, mid exactly. Range, yeah. Another amp that I, I kind of got into um, besides the C plus that again led to this journey was the Mark IV. Um, I know Lamb of God is recorded yeah. with yeah, that. Yeah, they, lo they love these. They love that. Should the band Chevelle. Um, going to um, the uh, Systematic Chaos album that we did, um, that was all Mark IV, pretty much. So, like, I have a tr an ISO track of the Dark Eternal Night guitar. You can hear it by itself. I'll show you what it sounds like. This is Mark IV. So the four like almost has there's it has like a, a big fatness to it I think yeah right? it's, yeah it's a little more scooped little yeah more scoop if I was trying to imitate that I might what do you think Doug would I pull I dip down the one? mids and maybe just what would you jack do? the bass a little yeah, bit yeah 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 it's Gain or it'll no? never have the softness of attack. That, the softness. That, this yeah. one's so much tighter and, and yeah, yeah. I know, might, but yeah, I I'd might say more gain, like more bass. More gain, you know? more bass. Hey, you yeah. can't go wrong. Yeah. 
That's cool. Isn't That's it? fucking crushing, right? Yeah, it's crushing. <laughs> My God. <laughs> But what, what's, what Sorry, I, I'm cursing. What I think is what I think yeah. is cool though is you can you can mimic that amp, yeah. but that amp can't mimic that amp. No, because but, that the the percussive yeah. attack yeah. that that transformer delivers right. is not available in the same. Right. You know, it just it can't stop and start as fast. It no, can't, that's you know, crazy, so that, right? That's something we really paid attention to with John's amp. So with the with the EQs, you can you can dial in that softness and that spread that this amp has, but you can <laughs> never get that attack. That this that sounds has, crazy. That, you know, even like something like Constant Motion had that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like. Quickly, I'll just do this quickly, like um, leading up to this amp again. Um, when I did my solo album, uh, I went back to, to uh, a C plus for that album. And like something like Jaws of Light. <laughs> That's that sound, yeah. I don't know that's, how that sounds out there, sounding, but right? sick up here. Right now I kind of have it set to be more Mark IV-ish. I would probably yeah. do that a little yep. bit. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Maybe yeah, the bass so, back. Like yeah. <laughs> Sam, that's all C plus. You can kind of hear how the amp just does this, like it jumps out, it like explodes. As soon yeah. as you hit a note, it's like it just uh, like it hits it somehow, and then it opens. Like yeah. I don't know what it's doing. We we Some we refer thing. to it a lot as yeah. like vowel sounds. Vowel you know? sounds, and yeah. That yeah. contained explosion. So. Amazing. I love yeah. it. Um, I did uh, train a thought album. It's actually I, I strayed from the Mark series, uh, and w I was using a Road King for a while. It's uh, a good reference though, just to get a different take. Yeah, on just for a different one. Yeah. Like this is like the As I Am. Guitar sound just isolated. I'm like, let's see. So, you know, if I was like with this, I have a seven string, it's not tuned the same, but. What did I do? Good question. Sco I don't know. Scooped out mid. Um, <laughs> you scooped out more mid. Yeah. Right? What, I, what I did is I, I recognized from the sound that the um, the rectifier sound had a little bit less middle, so I, I scooped the 750 fader down. It also had some more of like the real high stuff, so I brought the presence control up, um, and it, it sounded more gainy, so I turned up the gain. So just got, you, your, your ears kind of get used to like recognizing, oh, that's what it's doing. Yeah. 
there's a kind of a proud moment uh, in Behind the Veil where the guitar is by itself. And it's a pretty good C plus -y moment from the Mark V. Let's try to find it. Right? That's a, yeah, yeah. So now when I hear that, I would bring the mids, mids back, back in. in. Yeah. Right? So you guys are going to hear yep. now the difference between like the as I am kind of thing. Maybe not so much. Yep. A little less on that super top. Yep. Right? Yep. So see if I can remember that riff. <laughs> Here's the, the wimpy version. <laughs> That's like the Mark V version of the C plus, and then here we are now with my amp. And, and the thing is, the reason I painstakingly went through the history <laughs> is, uh, is to show you that everything that was learned made it into the JP2C. It's like, it is like the ultimate version of all those things and all that history. Yeah, um, it really is. And it's, I couldn't I mean, be more proud of it. It's insane. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 